So that was my daughter. My phone's bugging out right now. So that's my daughter. Do we look alike? <laughs> it's just so round because I'm pregnant. Yeah, that's okay. But you look happy and you look peaceful and happy. This is the daughter I've been telling everybody about. You know how she gets these beautiful curls, right? From the black side, not the Italian side. <laughs> she does get something from the Italian. It's nice and strong and long. Anyway, so my hair, what's going on with me today is I'm doing what I always do, but it's extremely moist moist here, right? And it's, uh, I feel like, and I love that for my hair, but sometimes it can actually make it more frizzy. So right now I have a little more frizz than normal, but like I always say, do what it wants to do for the day. Once you, would you agree? Once it's set in what it's going to be, you can't be messing with it. Yeah, because it's dry. Because then once it's dry, now you're doing all the opposite things we're supposed to do with our hair, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, oh. like, I'll just separate some of them that are like, like this, like, you know, mm -hmm. I want to make them more fluffy. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to be fluffy, then just, yeah. Exactly. Because sometimes you're really defined. Sometimes you want to be fluffy, sometimes you want to be defined, you know. Yeah, but you have a lot of hair, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. And then what happens is, you suppose, the big no-no's is that we're not supposed to be um, manipulating when it's dry, mm -hmm. right? And we don't want single strand knots. You don't get single strand knots. You know what even what those you know even what those are? <laughs> what do you mean? Are y'all all mad at her with me? Because I don't think she knows what that is. That's when the ends get uh, deep, they get so tangled that you can feel knots yeah. at the end. Do you yeah. ever get those? Um, have you ever noticed yourself get those? Because if you've never cut your hair, that means you probably never have those kinds of issues. Yeah. And that's what, that's with the kink. You don't have a whole lot of kink. Mm -hmm. But you really are good with taking care of your hair. I have to say, you stay on top of it, don't you? Yeah, I just I just like it to be neat smooth you know yeah you and you use a dimming brush like you use one yeah. of these this is which is your brush in the shower only when my hair's wet only when it's wet so that what tips can you tell everybody so like you, it, like when i was little it start at the bottom don't brush completely i taught you that right yeah wait a minute i taught her that and then i didn't even know myself then you had to teach me again <laughs> okay so i taught you how to brush your hair yeah right so you did you can't just you start at the bottom and you work your way up yeah uh-huh it's like common like, sense stuff. A lot stuff. of conditioner, like too much conditioner. <laughs> like overdo the conditioner. Yeah. Right. And isn't it weird on YouTube that's like a big deal now? Everybody's like, oh, like, like you know, but it's like they're like, oh, this is how you do it. And then you're like, wait, didn't you always do it like that? Yeah. Haven't we? Want me to get that for you? Look at you trying to bend. You're going to have the baby now. <laughs> okay. Little bush. Oh, my Lord. I could barely get it. <laughs> I think that's under the... Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So she's also a makeup person. Look at her. I didn't teach you that though. Yes, I did. I taught a little bit, but you learned most of it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it's from your wedding. Is this from the wedding? Yeah. Let me see. This is from my wedding, and my daughter has it, of course, because she does. It. She's more into this than I am. But it's pretty. Let me see what color that is. It's like highlighter, gold highlighter. I love it. Look how pretty that is. We spent a lot of money on makeup on the wedding. Yeah. I did. <laughs> You know that she said, yeah, I did. Did you just say that? Yeah, because you're the one that was picking all the makeup. <laughs> I didn't spend any money. I was like 17. I know, but you didn't have to spend the money. You just yeah. like, wait, you need this, Mom. No, you need this, Mom, like I do. <laughs> no, but that girl didn't do a good job with your makeup, remember? Yeah. You're she was like, trying to match my foundation color, and it was like orange. And you were like quiet, like, um, I could do this better. She's like, Mom, make sure you don't buy this one. <laughs> uh, look at you. You should do your makeup channel. You should do a hair and makeup channel. But makeup and is so extreme these days. I like, don't do it like that, you know? Like yeah. how people do. Yeah. The people go so stuff. far. Yeah. But some people do natural. That's true. Yeah. That's old YouTube. Like, I would watch, yeah. I would watch natural. Mm -hmm. So, comment below <laughs> if you would watch a natural makeup tutorial. <laughs> I think if you like an older crowd, a more mature I crowd. I a video about how I do my eyebrows. Yeah, I, you're big on those. I shaped them myself. Instead of having to go get them done? Yeah. So not being able to, yes, this is like on a budget. Yeah, yeah. makeup on a budget, yes, because you're not in America, so she doesn't get to do the threading like we used to do at home. Now you have to like improvise, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't get them plucked and stuff? Do you do them yourself? Yeah, tweezers and a face razor. Okay. And then you do your eyebrows, your brows. Man, I'm so low min no low maintenance with that kind of stuff. I did um, as American consultant. Huh? Your done. Yeah, I go to I get threading for my eyebrows, I get my nails done, and I use Mary Kay. 
But like, it, when I was younger, if I tried to my brows, brows by myself, I'd have nothing there, you know? Why? Because you go over the top and you keep making them thinner and thinner and thinner. Oh, okay. There was one time when you were doing like perfect just, brows. Yeah, square. <laughs> Remember? Square thing. Yeah. That was a thing back Remember then. That? That, was, that was like it. Was, now you see people, they look all weird with their brows overdoing the brows. <laughs> doing the most. Can you say doing the most anymore? Sure. <laughs> Can you say brows on fleek anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think once you hit a, like a threshold of like when you're an adult, adult, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You, you don't worry about rules anymore. That's kind of what I like about my channel. I think it's more of like a mature mm -hmm. channel. Where it's like, you know, practicality and what really works. I love the people that follow because I can tell they're really about the information I'm sharing, you know, mm -hmm. and who I am, not just like, oh, I like, to, you know, like the intros and the lights in the back <laughs> and all that silly stuff. I mean, I don't mind, but I'm not, I'm not a kid, so that's not something. So let's look at her doing eyes. Very focused. Huh? Very focused. Tiny wing. <laughs> a bit of wing. <laughs> oh well. So, Marianne is very big, as you can see. She can go any day now. We might do the have the baby dance. I wore this dress for Thanksgiving and it was like half the size. I know, right? Yeah. Well, you look like you look healthy, a healthy pregnant lady. Um, we're gonna do a dance later though. I'd get that baby coming out, baby dance. <laughs> By the way, everybody who's watching that uh, takes my class, I got some amazing music from my daughter. So we're going to have a new playlist soon. She just introduced me to some more songs. And I cannot wait to uh, choreograph to them. She used to be my secret weapon when we were back in the day when she was in high school because she used to give me all the... <laughs> the up to date. Yeah, you used to find all the hip songs and make me seem like I was so hip. And that was my secret weapon. When I taught high school, they used to help me with things too. Like as long as you connect to teens. But now as you're getting older, I'm like, oh no, she's getting older. Right. <laughs> I'm like, are you even in touch with the, with the music anymore? Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Look at you. Thank you. Nice little smoke guy. <laughs> Gotta do a little, da a little dance with it. Well, everybody, I wanted to introduce you to my daughter. We'll have we'll talk to her a little bit more later when she has company in her baby shower. So her Dutch family will be here. I'm gonna try to get her to speak her language. I'm gonna catch her speaking to her husband in Dutch, so she speaks and reads in Dutch now. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing, huh? Does it seem amazing? Growing up, it's like. You always think you're gonna speak Spanish or something? I know. Language, but it's like the most random language for me. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I speak Spanish, so I, and you look like you would speak Spanish. Yeah. In America, it's also like everyone learns Spanish as a second language. I know. So it's weird that I'm like learning the random Dutch, you know. <laughs> but I like what I'm learning about the Dutch culture. Every yeah. time I learn something new about it, I'm like, wow, I really and like it. And also like the ABC Islands or whatever, they speak Dutch there. What's ABC Islands? Aruba. Oh, that's what y'all call it? Yeah. There, aren't they colonies of Dutch colony or something? Yeah. They speak what? Yes, yeah, so that when you go there, you can. Mm -hmm. A lot of them look Caribbean and stuff. My friend from um, college was from. She used to go to Aruba, but she was from the Netherlands Antilles. Yes, yeah, that's, that's Antilles. Um, what they're called. The three of them. Oh, Antilles. Yeah. All three of them. Okay. Have you been there? Are you gonna go? I want to. You should go. You you're part of South um, Africa, I think. I I they're know connected. The Somehow they're connected, right? Yeah, I don't know. Because why would they? There's so many people that are from South Africa here. Yeah. There must be like a reason. There's a big connection to South Africa and the Sri Lanka Antilles. too. No. Oh, just the South Africans and the Antilles. Oh, you think the people? Maybe there's some kind of agreement. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for our son, probably has like some type of. Yeah, he'll be able to go to there and stuff like that. Like, because there's like agreements, you know. Yeah. Like when I went to. Uh, France. Oh, yeah, we did France. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to say that, huh? Yeah, it's really nice because um, within Europe, you're good, you know. Yeah. Would you have the Dutch citizenship? Then? Yeah, and you have um, permanent residence. Yes, five years. Five years. You have to learn the language and write and, and all that. And then I can apply again. Right. And you are fine with this baby being sure you don't want to go to America like this weekend to make sure he's born he has, in America? He has dual citizenship. He's going to have dual citizenship? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You met a guy who uh, whose wife was American, and she 
He told us that the youngest kids, you just, you don't have to go there. You just have oh, to. Oh, good. That works out. So he has options. Yeah. Yeah. He has options. Oh, That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not very proud of everything in America. You know, they, the Lord put on my heart to talk about something um, months ago. Maybe this could be when I do it. Did you hear about the women in Alabama? Yes. Black women in Alabama? Yes. What they did? Yes. What did you hear about it? What do you know the story? I heard basically they voted against someone who was like a pedophile. Basically. Pedophile, right. And it was the power of the black women's vote and how we put to pull together. That is so empowering and it means so much to me being a minister and somebody for women's programs and, you know, about women, what I do on my channels for women That's and everything. The only way you can do something is if you vote. Yeah, you really got to do it. So they went out and got people and brought them out to vote and made the difference, you know? And that means we are capable of doing it. And I'm so proud of the of our, of our African-American women. And I don't think we know our power sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens is that... Power numbers. Power numbers. And when you step up to the plate because something bothers you, you do it without thinking, but then when you do it, you're like, whoa, yeah, I didn't even know I could do that. You think it's obvious, like, oh, everyone's going to see how bad this is. But when you start no noticing... doing anything. Like, when, when I was in college, it seemed like everybody was, you know, liberal or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, you know what happened in North Carolina. Oh, in North Carolina? Yeah, Trump won in North Carolina. Yeah, we were surprised that he did, right? Yeah, because it seemed like everybody in North Carolina colleges, everybody well, I knew Well, you was were liberal. in college, that's why. You yeah. weren't in the towns. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so... I usually don't like talking about him because everybody gets all crazy if you start talking about... Yeah. America is crazy. Yeah. I love I love the country. I'm proud of the country in terms of the fact that I can I am who I am. You know, I'm a very proud person to be from whatever country I'm from. Yeah. However, I'm not proud of the pain that we get. You know, the way that we treat African people of color, black people it's are not respected. It's sad to think of how, how it hasn't been that long. You know. Yeah. Of what all? Yeah. yeah, with Martin Luther King and yeah, all that. Yeah. Sixties. I know. I know. Nothing. <laughs> and the hatred is just so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. People born in the 60s aren't even like grandparent age. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in the 70s. Yeah. Whoops. Did I tell everybody? No. Everybody knows I'm old. You're not grandparent. <laughs> you're just a grandparent, but you're not grandparent age. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. That's true. But um, but I wanted to, I've been wanting to mention, there's a lot of things political I won't do talk about because people are just won't, people are just not logical anymore. They're just going by like their selfish. It's fun to write hate comments and. Stuff. Yeah, so I never wanted to talk about it, but the Lord put in my heart to talk about these women. I don't know all the details, but the the, the amount that I know, what I do know, I'm so proud of, and I want to impress upon us to continue because I am against abuse. You and I, you know, our family's against abuse against uh, women, especially in children. And what happened to the, that that guy was like flaunting. I think it was like that Trump mentality of yeah. like, you know, I could just do whatever I want to do. Yeah. And I'm not trying to bash on him or anything, but I am a, I am against uh, that mentality of locker room talk. Oh, that's just locker room talk. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. It's just, you know, I'm very sensitive to people's feelings, especially women. And yeah, also, if um, when people uh, discredit women for doing things, rape and things like that, you shouldn't discredit them just yeah. anyone who's abused or raped or it doesn't matter man or woman yeah it doesn't matter it happens either way it does happen it really does it happens with teachers and students right mm -hmm. but I, I just want to my thing I want to talk about is the women the black women the power of the african-american women I just you know we need to know our power with our hair you know what I mean taking care of our hair being in our communities if there's anything you can contribute to the community um, if you can you know love one another support one another we have power in um, so supporting our own black businesses mm -hmm. instead of you know going to other businesses that you know this is our stuff you know and we should be able to support our own businesses find a black owned business that is uh, helping you with your hair, hair, rather than going to um, other countries and other companies that will take the money out of our community, right? Yeah. That's one thing. Politically, if we feel like we're being dis if we feel like we're being disrespected as a as a group, don't vote for them. Shoot, our vote matters. You know, when it comes down to anything, we can we do have more power than what we realize. And um, it seems like for the women's movement, it was the black woman that had to step up to the plate for the black for women, because we were not having it. 
And that's where a lot of women were kind of upset with the um, with uh, white women because they were like, come on, y'all got to step up to the plate. You got to do more than just march. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So we love white women, black women, Spanish. That's not the case. But it seems like there is some power in the African-American um, community. Yeah. In numbers. When we get together and we're ready and we had enough, we, we have power. And we need to remember that. You know, of course, what's most important, of course, is your Christian faith. No matter what color you are, being in the Christian family, that's number one. Basically, you you're know? just saying, like, you're proud of what happened. And it happened to be with black women. I am very yeah. proud of that. And I'm not going to feel bad about being proud to of be that. A black woman too. <laughs> I happen to be a black woman, by the way, so it's nothing against anybody else. But I'm going to speak up about being proud about something about my own people, you know? So that doesn't mean I don't love other people. But that's another thing about America that I'm getting tired of. Aren't you sick of that? When you stand up for what you love, that means you hate the other else. people. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is? That's abuse. That's a form of abuse. When somebody tries to twist your words and tell you what you're saying, tell yeah. you what you're thinking. Like, right? if I say that uh, I love my husband's freckles, white, super white freckles, it's not I mean? against any, my own skin exactly. tone or your skin tone. Exactly. When somebody tries to twist what you're saying, tell you what you mean and all that, um, um, what that is in the textbook is called abuse. And what what's happening in America is that if somebody stands up for something and tells you that they're hurting or anything, yeah. you turn it into... You're saying that they're bad about something else, and that's a lie, and that's actually abuse. Because you're putting words in the person's mouth, you're twisting it, you're telling them what that means, their motives. Those are definitions of abuse, emotional abuse, right? She's dead. We got ready with her. Belly. Let's ready see how big that belly is. Ooh, 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 belly. You need to see this video of the baby moving. Oh, my gosh. Due dates on Tuesday. You might not see it. The video is probably going to be after Tuesday. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Bye.